or property following the heavy rain event. News Channel 10's Kylie Frazier explains the basics of flood insurance and the cleanup efforts in the area. More than 80 homes were impacted by flooding in last night's weather. The job to clean those up started early this morning. So we'll go in there, we'll extract all the water, uh, we will sanitize, we will remove any pad, any wet building material. Um, rainwater is the opposite of clean, it is very gross, uh, so we need to get in there, disinfect it, get all, get all the bad out. According to the Texas Department of Insurance, 60% of all U.S. flood damage happens in low-risk areas, and even the smallest amount of water can cause damage to your home. And with all that damage that occurred, insurance agents want to encourage homeowners and renters to look into getting a flood insurance policy. A lot of people think, oh, flood insurance, I don't live near a river, I don't live near the Gulf, I don't live near a lake, why do I need it? Um, so it's not just living near a body of water. We say flooding can happen anywhere. Almost every city in Texas is at a risk of a flood. A flood insurance policy can cover your home up to $250,000. However, to keep your personal belongings covered, you will have to take out a separate flood policy. High Note says homeowners also need to know a flood insurance policy has a 30-day waiting period before it kicks in, so it's important to buy coverage before the next storm. Kylie Frazier, News Channel 10.